I'm going to be sharing with you five of my most complimented fragrances. These are sensual, these are fresh, these are perfect for summer and that transitional period into autumn and winter. And most importantly, these are going to make you smell like that girl without having to break the bank. Hey, my beautiful hands, I hope you guys are all doing well. Hey hands, I just want to apologize because the first two to three minutes of this video, I'm slightly out of focus, but that doesn't take away from the amazing scents I'll be sharing with you. I hope you still enjoy the video. This is the first video that you're watching from me. Hi, my name is Ben Michelle. I do videos around lifestyle. No, I do videos around fashion and travel, but I do include a tiny bit of lifestyle in there, some daily vlogs, chit chats, and anything else I want to speak about. I think by the end of this video, you're going to like my content. So if you're not already subscribed, I think you should right there also make sure you click the bell and have your post notifications turned on for me so that you never miss an upload so in this video today i'm going to be going through some of my staple scents a lot of these i think are affordable obviously affordability is relative to each person but i think the majority of these you can get a 100 ml bottle under or near 100 pounds they smell amazing you're going to get a ton of compliments on them and yeah i think they're perfect perfumes for summer and that transitional period into autumn and winter as well so when it comes to fragrances I don't remember the notes off the top of my head. I will be reading them off on my phone But I'm generally a person that likes really woody scents, but also for summer I like floral fresh scents and then when we go into the autumn or winter time I love oud scents like for the longest period ever I would only wear oud. I'm also going to apologize if you can hear my fan It is very hot in the UK If you watch any content creators from the UK who do YouTube you probably heard them say our houses are not equipped to give out air like the UK is not equipped for hot weather so our houses are made to retain heat when it's hot outside it's even warmer in our house so in this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys five staple scents that I love and these are scents that I always get compliments on these five scents can take you from day to night and I also think they're affordable a lot of the times when I watch fragrance videos I see the same fragrances and a lot of them are like over the hundred pound mark now although I love fragrances there's only a few perfumes that I'm willing to spend over hundred pounds for and I do believe there are only a limited amount of perfumes that are actually worth paying over £100 for. But anyway, let's get into the video. The first that I'm going to speak about is this one, which is by Jimmy Choo, and it's called Amber Kisses. Now, this is described as a woody, spicy fragrance, and I definitely get that from it. Even from looking at the bottle, whenever you see perfumes that are sort of this cognac-type colour, they usually fall within that sort of woody, spicy, amber that's why it's called amber kisses sort of range firstly i love the bottle the bottle is so cute this is the 125 ml this is definitely more of an evening scent and it's a very sensual scent i mean it's called amber kisses and if you do wear this i do think there are going to be a lot of people that want to kiss you it's very feminine it's definitely if you like oud fragrances you're going to love this fragrance this gives me when you're on holiday in santorini with your babes in the evening time and you just want to smell like a grecian goddess that's what it gives me like it gives me luxe it gives me sensual it gives me date night it gives me who is that girl this like if you wear this fragrance you're definitely going to be getting compliments and people are going to be looking at you like number one what are you wearing and number two who is that girl so let's get into the notes so this one is actually quite funny when i was trying to find the notes for this the only notes i could see were amber so amber is a blend of ingredients that are described as warm powdery and sweet scent this is definitely warm it's definitely powdery i don't think it's that sweet because i don't really like sweet scent a lot of sweet scents i just think are very youthful whereas this is definitely a lot more mature you definitely have notes of vanilla in there definitely patchouli i love patchouli any fragrance that has patchouli uh, give it to me i love patchouli in my fragrances you also have lanthanum and then you definitely have a bit of citrus in this as well but the citrus is very very mild the very mild citrus but i feel like the citrus sort of cancels out some of the sweetness which once again makes it a lot more mature and on the jimmy chu website it's also described as a luminous veil of amber kiss provokes desire and passion I find it hilarious how brands describe their perfumes. So I had actually smelt this when I was out with my mom and she loved it so much. So she bought it and then I just got the sample size because I believe this retails for about 120 pounds, but I will leave a link to all the fragrances in the description bar below. And you know me, I love a discount code. So wherever I can find a discount code, I will also put it in the description bar below. But yes, yeah, so my mom bought it and I just got a ton of samples and I literally wore out the samples. And just when I was about to buy it, I was actually gifted this in PR. So I was gifted this and the I love chew which I have 
used before and when I was gifted this I was so happy because I was like oh my god I love in PR when I'm gifted things that I was actually about to buy or things that I actually use. I'm definitely gonna number one share it with my audience, but then number two, I'm definitely gonna use it and probably create content around it. The next fragrance is the scent perfume, and this is by Hugo Boss. I'm so surprised I haven't heard more people speak about this perfume. Number one, this perfume is very, very affordable, and this is one of my everyday perfumes. I have two everyday perfumes. The other one I will speak about shortly, but this is one of my everyday perfumes. If you like fresh scents, if you don't like scents, that are too overpowering but just really complement your own natural scent and just give you that sort of she is put together she has her life sorted she has everything color coded and time stamped and she knows where she's going in life this is what that scent will give you now the way they describe this perfume is feel the power of attraction pull you in with the boss the scent for her <laughs> I'm sorry, even if you guys aren't finding this entertaining, I'm finding this entertaining. Don't you just love the way they describe their perfumes? I will say this is not as eccentric as the Jimmy Choo one, but still. This is described as a floral amber scent. So remember I said I like floral citrusy scents for summer and for my everyday scent. This is perfect because on an everyday basis, especially when I'm going to work, I don't want a scent that's too overpowering. I want a scent that when someone walks past me, they're like, hmm, I'm intrigued, what is that? But not a scent that everyone in the office is gonna smell me. Top note in this is orange blossom, heart note is vetiver angla woods. I hope I've pronounced that properly. And then the base note is pink peppercorn. And I think the pink peppercorn is what makes it settle into an amber woody scent, but it's still floral and citrusy because it has that orange blossom and paired together, it just makes the perfect potion for an everyday perfume. This can definitely take you from day to night. You can wear this as an everyday perfume. And then if you're say going out after work or if you're going out during the day, you can then top it up like this with the Amber Kisses. I think would pair very, very well when you want to layer because they have similar notes. If you guys would like a video all about layering perfumes, then let me know because I think I'd be happy to do that. And it's also quite interesting as well. The next fragrance I'm going to speak about is my all time favorite and it's the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. And this is the Eau de Du Parfum Intense. There's actually two versions of this. So this is the Intense and then there's the other one that I believe is just called a spray. The way you'll know the difference is that the Intense has more of a, it has a white sticker on the front while the, um, just the spray has has more of an opaque. I'll try and put a picture somewhere on the screen so you can see the difference. I like both, but if you had to pick between the two, I would say get the Intense because just as the name would suggest, it's a lot more intense. This perfume, I think is the perfect day to night perfume. Like you can wear this during the day and you can also wear it at night and it lingers. When I wear this perfume, I can still smell it on my clothes two days afterwards. When I open my laundry basket and I'm about to do laundry, I can still smell this on some of my clothes that I've used. It really is a distinctive and powerful scent but it's not overbearing as I think some more intense fragrances are. This is definitely an it girl fragrance. I don't know anyone who doesn't like this fragrance and if there is someone who doesn't like this fragrance I just think they're trying to be one of those people that are like I'm different, I'm intellectual, I don't like Coco Mademoiselle. Babes, this fragrance is that girl and I love that it can take you from day to night. Like you can wear this during the day, you can wear this during the evening, you can use it for layering. I just absolutely love this and I think I love this so much because it has patchouli in it and as I said before I love any fragrance that has patchouli give it to me darling but it also has bergamot and tonka which are also two fragrance ingredients that I really like and when I look at the ingredients of the fragrance that I have in my collection those are like the three reoccurring themes but speaking of the notes so the notes in this so the top notes are mandarin orange orange blossom and bergamot heart notes are mimosa rose ylang ylang and jasmine and then the base notes are opoponox vanilla white moss tonka patchouli and vetiver and this is described as a woody amber oriental fragrance are you seeing a theme listen the ambers and the woodies and the orientals they're that girl but especially the ambers the amber scent perfumes will have you smelling like that day. I also didn't know that Chanel promotes this as a hair perfume. So on their website, it says you can use this to fragrance your hair. And I definitely understand why. Another reason why I really love this perfume is if you know the history behind Chanel, before you had the ready to wear or the Chanel bags, Chanel started as a fragrance company. So the heritage behind the house is fragrances and it has 
some of the most unique fragrances and I just love this. There's also the Coco Noir, which another one of my favorite fragrances, but I use that more when it's the um, autumn and winter time because it definitely is a more oody, very woody sort of scent, but we're not speaking about her right now. We're speaking about this babe right here and this babe packs a lot of punch. The next scent is my ultimate and staple beach holiday scent and it is this one from Versace. So this is a Versace Dylan Turquoise fragrance and I remember the whole rollout for this fragrance. I was very skeptical because I was like, mm, I don't know. But then I went to a PR event and I smelt it and I fell in love with it. We were kindly gifted some samples in PR and I quickly just ordered a bottle straight away. I love this. This is such a fresh, citrusy, fruity scent. It is so perfect for a beach holiday. It just reminds me of Greece, of the Mediterranean, of Maldives. It's just very like anywhere that has clear blue waters, this scent reminds me of that because it's just so fresh. It will just remind you of your holidays and the way they describe this perfume is escape to a faraway island where the blue sky meets the crystal waters and the sea breeze caresses the skin waking up the senses and regenerating the soul could I be a voiceover actor? I don't know, I think I might be pushing it. But anyway, that is how they describe this scent, which is why I say it's the perfect beach holiday scent. Getting into the notes, so the top notes are Sicilian mandarin, lemon and pink pepper. The heart notes are black currant bud, jasmine petals, guava juice and freesia. Base notes are clear wood, rabbit wood and musk. And it's described as a floral citrusy scent. And like I said, this is just, if you're going on holiday, just pack this in your bag. Pack this in your bag and thank me later. And then the last thing I want to share with you guys is one that I think is so understated and I'm once again I'm surprised most people don't speak about it. One, the bottle looks amazing. I only have a little bit left because this is literally my everyday fragrance. This and the Hugo Boss The Scent fragrance are the two fragrances that I say I use the most on an everyday basis because they are such good everyday fragrances. So this is the Lancome Hypnose and this is just a very fresh scent, a very intriguing scent. Once again, this is a scent that if you're in the office, when someone walks past you, they definitely gonna smell you and they're gonna be like mm, what are you wearing like this is a what are you wearing type of situation i would wear this on a day where i just want to be like i want to be that mysterious girl i just want to smell there and just be like when you walk past me you're intrigued by me <laughs> this is described as the bewitching feminine fragrance of a woman who knows how to use her charm to fascinate the man she loves get into it <laughs> Top notes in this are passion flower, heart notes are vanilla, and then the base note is vetier. Although it does have the vanilla, it's not too sweet. It's once again a lot more fresh. It does have a bit of a woody amber scent to it. I feel like I'm using woody amber quite a lot, but like I said, those are the type of scents that I really like. And the great thing about those two scents is you can get them very intense or you can get them as more fresh everyday scents. And this is more on the fresh everyday scent sort of vibe. I have a bottle of this in my house. I also have a bottle of this in my car. and this this is just that fragrance for me. So those are all the scents I am sharing with you guys today. I really hope that this video was helpful. Let me know if you have any of these fragrances in your collection or what are some of your staple fragrances. I'm definitely going to do more fragrance videos and especially a video about how to layer perfumes. But if you enjoy this video, I think you're gonna enjoy this video right here or possibly this video right here. Click on either of those and let me continue to entertain you. I hope you have a good morning, evening, afternoon or whatever time you're watching this video. And I'll see you all in my next video.